Man, Saturday night live. Got some jigs to tie. Gonna be building some stuff for some shell cracker tonight. So uh, think bottom contact jigs that are not flashy. They are chasing mollusks and little oysters and clams and shellfish. Uh, big red ear eat little baits. So let's tie up a bunch. Do hope that Mr. Keith is able to make it in here because he is the guy that these are for. Hey, Ricky. Ricky, Hers right beside me, I know it. Try to get all my stuff kind of somewhat situated while we wait for people to come in here. <laughs> we'll not be needing any of this flash tonight. Hey, Queen Hess, welcome in. Thank you for being here this evening. Um, just trying to get some some of my what? What are you doing? I love to get some of my tinsel kind of organized. What? Hey, uh, Ken. Watching, yeah, I seen old Ted was live. Not usually live on Saturday nights, but it is what it is. Brim jigs, yes, uh, sure are. I will be here in just a minute. Kind of getting my tinsel and stuff cleaned up a little bit here. Um... It's in my truck, in the back seat. All right, got all that somewhat situated. Hey, Nene, mom. Hey, Tracy, welcome in. All right, so we're gonna go, first one we're gonna do is gonna be a gray um, 32nd ounce. And um, the thing with shell crackers is they do not, they're not going to be chasing minnows and shad. They're going to be eating stuff off the floor. So they're kicking up dirt. They're chasing mussels. They're looking for stuff like that. So what we're gonna be tying tonight, it's not going to be flashy, it's not gonna be bright, it's gonna be dull. Um, nothing real, nothing real crazy, so. Should be good. 30 second ounce, um, not always. This is what this one is. I've also got some 1 80th of an ounce in a size 10 hook that I pour. I'm gonna be tying these as well tonight. And then these are the 180th or a 132nd on a size six, I believe. Size six hook on them. Hey, Mr. Alvin. Pretty much for these shell cracker, it will be small, yes. Hey, Papa, welcome in. I got home and had to find something for supper real quick <laughs> before I get. Setting down here, generally small. Oh yes, yeah, 30 second, be about the biggest um, size that we're gonna tie for, for the brim, for sure. Are you running? What are you running for, buddy? You couldn't help mama. Oh, the stairs are wet. Yeah, it rained, huh? All right, so let's get some gray. Yeah. It is, yes, because of their small mouths. Exactly. <coughs> yep, nothing too big. 
They do have um, really small mouths, like blue, any kind of bluegill or any uh, sunfish. Kind of besides a green sunfish. Green sunfish have a have a pretty large mouth, but. Let me find some gray here. Gray bucktail. You good? Yeah. Thanks for breath. Got some gray. It's gonna match up good with that head. See kind of the color similarity of that head there. Get about how much hair I want on it. Then I'll hold it with the other set of fingers and cut it off. Hold it the length of the hook shank there. A couple of loose wraps and then you can tighten it down. Hey, Jamaican Sure, what's up? Welcome, man. Like that. Just checking. All right. Hit the like button if you would for me. I'd appreciate it. Got a really fine... Hey, what's up, Mr. Sam? Ken said he used one of the white jigs today. Did he catch anything? Because using them is one thing, but catching something on them is another thing. Hopefully he did. We, uh... I went fishing today behind my papa's house. Me and my mom. It was her birthday today. And uh, we went down there and my little sister come for a minute, but she got bored and went to the house. Hey, Matt, what's up? But we stayed down there and we brought six fish home up to Papa for, uh, for him and Mama to have for supper. Maybe tomorrow night, he said, so... Hey, Matt. Welcome in, Mr. Want to Be. How are you? Oh, no. Double Hook had a heart attack. Oh, man. Mr. Dave. I hate that. We'll be praying for him. Dang, I hate to hear that. He said Dave had a double hook angling, had a heart attack or something. He not maybe not quite sure, but some kind of complication today. I hate to hate to hear that. I don't I don't know. Sure hate to hear it. The one fish he caught today was on a rubber jig. Hey, what's up, Blaster? Welcome in. Was on a rubber jig. Well, pretty tough bite. Hey, what's up, Mr. Keith Doc? Welcome in. Got a little bitty guy here. I'll flip it around, show you. Nothing flashy, nothing crazy, just a little gray bucktail
Great little jig. Thumpaholic. Mr. Corey in here. God is great. Amen. All the time. His son came in your life and told you. Said he had a heart attack but wasn't sure. Man, that's awful. Hate to hear that. <clears throat> Had to drop in and give you a like. Awesome. Man, I appreciate it a lot, Blaster. Making you more jigs. <laughs> Making these for uh, Mr. Keith, I believe. Hoping he comes in here tonight. Hoping he comes in and hangs out with us. He may be here. He uh, Sometimes I think he stays in the background some, but different different Keith also, I believe. <laughs> not, a, not Mr. Doc there. Let's see here. Find something here. Go with these up here. Send a picture of Ken's fish. Hey, you like my hat? Nice ball cap. Got the old blue one on tonight. That is a, another one from Mr. Lance at Sleeper Barbecue. I'm going to be honest with you that I am uh, wearing this one because I could not find either of my green ones. I said, I'm not tying in another hat. It's got to be a Rock Creek hat. So sign it and send it to you. <laughs> I'm looking to start tying myself, so I'm truly paying close attention. Awesome, Tracy. Um, anytime if you got any questions or want me to like zoom in or show you anything, I'd be happy to do it. <laughs> sign it and send it to you. Oh, signed hat. Well, we got to get some hats made, like, sure enough, get a few of them. I've got a mug press, too. Let me start making yeah, she's got a mug press and everything. Ooh. Where is Dills? I'm going to tell you. He's over there, but he did not have a nap today. We've been uh, running and gunning today, busy. Mom's birthday. Yeah, had a mom's birthday was today, so we was running and gunning today, and he is just about gave out tonight. He actually dozed off on the way um the way home this afternoon, this evening, and he uh. We woke him back up because he had just fallen asleep like less than a half a mile from home. We wanted him to get supper and it was just a little too early to be going to bed. So we woke him back up. Send a video. Can't hardly see. It looks like a bass, maybe. <clears throat> I'll definitely check it out later. Check out Mr. Ken's fish. Yeah, <laughs> he gets it from Bobo. Oh, a trout. Oh, okay. Nice. I don't know where Bobo's at. They're partying probably Saturday night. What supply company do you shop at? Dicks. Online. Uh, definitely Dicks. online. Dicks. What, buddy? Dicks. You a stank. You, you stink. Um, basically. Get all of my supplies from Barlow's Tackle, Spawn Fly Fish, or um, 
squimpish flies or do it molds. Those are kind of the four like that I always go to. So another little silver one through a little bit of brown in there for him just to throw a little bit of color off, but maybe he'll pop in here and uh yeah, mainly Barlow's. Barlow's a really, really good website. So, Bar I think it's barlowstackle.com. But they're sure enough. Hey, what did you do with his super bowl? I told him to put it in the sink. Oh. That's why I had cereal in the sink. Yeah. That would be why there is cereal all over the sink. My bad. And then on my bucktails, I get my bucktails from Midwest Bucktails. Um, there's your bucktail, the source for the best bucktails. Uh, you'll probably find anywhere on the internet. Um, holler at a dude named Wes. He's a great guy. Um, you can find him on Instagram. Do what? Yeah, tell him I sent you. And uh, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It won't it won't save you any money or anything, but. It's just cool to let him know where his business is coming from, I think. <laughs> what? Four. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, I know a good website. Yeah, there you go. And then that's our website, rockcreekbaitcompany.com. And that is our, um, that's where we sell these jigs through. It's kind of our, our jig business side of things. We come on here uh, every Saturday night. I'd be happy for you to join anytime. Um, every Saturday night I go live and tie, so. And I don't just do the small stuff. I do, um, I'll show you a few things here. I got bladed jigs. I do buzz baits. I do, uh, swim jigs, crappie jigs, all sorts of stuff, so. I love this content. <laughs> There's me a little swim jig I built myself today for um, an upcoming tournament. For sure, I appreciate it. Got me a little bluegill colored swim jig. Got the red breast sunfish type look on it. Ought to be all right. That's a quarter ounce. Oh, we got like bladed jigs here. On the pink one. I pour all my lead, do all my um, powder coating, do all the tying and everything, so. Do all the paint, everything. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what a beaut. Wow, what a beaut. Mag Magna, whatever. I appreciate it. Turning with live scope. <laughs> Turning with live scope. Yeah, we're going to be on them, hopefully. It's a bass turny. <laughs> yeah, Glenn, I know it. Yeah, I told everybody, yeah, we'll see y'all here in a few minutes after the premiere last night. And uh, next thing I know, Sophie was yelling at me because I was asleep in the recliner. I did not. You worked yesterday. Yeah, generally I don't work on Fridays, but I worked uh, this past yesterday because I'm off Monday for, I took a holiday, a vacation day. Anyway, I did not fall asleep though, so that's good. Using that wacky then, oh yeah. Well, we will be, Corey, for sure. Bladed jigs and wacky rigs. That's what I could title the video because that is what is going to be thrown. I can almost guarantee it. I can guarantee they'll both get thrown. I would almost guarantee that's what everything's caught on as well. Helgramite, thumping bug, secret weapon. 
I'll do better too. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Welcome in, Mr. Glenn. Thank you for coming by. Black copper, you're shallow. Two to six feet. White copper, you're still a little deeper. I guess we caught all white crappie at Cedar this uh, past weekend. And they were, I don't know, Corey, how deep? Eight, six to eight foot, probably. Um, some of the ones off the end of your tree that you were catching them off of, probably like maybe three, four foot of water. Glenn and Lynn. There's another little guy. Just dull, nothing shiny, nothing crazy. Hey, Something for a shell cracker to pick up and uh, run off with. I think it's got him a, a meal. I got three here that are pretty, yeah, it's a sunfish. It's a uh, kind of like a red ear, red ear shell cracker. I think same thing. It's all extremely, extremely similar. They're all very re well related. Shell crackers are, have like little, little bitty mouths, eat the little, little uh, mollusks and stuff. Yeah, green sunfish got some big old mouths. The ones I caught today, um, two of them were good size. Female blacks are staged up at 6 to 15. Dang. About time. About time for it. About to get good. All right, let me grab. Blacks usually spawn a little earlier than whites. Okay, cool. What was the water temp um, where you were at today? If you don't mind sharing. I'm going to swap over to a um, olive bucktail because I've got a new color of head in there. You see, it's an olive, olive color head. I'll swap over to an olive thread as well. Um, even with the freeze coming, they're staged. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Tracy, if you're still in here. Um, I know you were interested in kind of the, what you're looking at. Um, I always use a Danville's 210 waxed thread. That 210 just shows the size of the thread, whatever. So I just picked up a like storage thing for sewing threads at Walmart but these fit and work perfectly on there. I know. It's because they're watching. I guess. Find some olive right there. Oh, that's 240. Same thing, 210. Oh, wrong way. Wrong thing. All right, let's see. Even when the freeze coming. On payday, I'm planning on ordering a few chatterbaits. All right, Clayton. Um, the only thing on our website that I have um, is a, uh, it's like a white and chartreuse. But if you would just like message me on um, Facebook or Instagram or my emails in my about me section here, email me or whatever, just get a hold of me. Let me know like a color scheme, you know what I mean, what you want. So I'll hook you up, man. And I sure really appreciate it, too. Absolutely appreciate it. That's awesome. I don't know exactly. Didn't have, didn't have any electronics. 5960. It'll drop a couple of degrees this week and stall them a little. Uh, late day surface temperature, I guess. Hey, Mr. Earl. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, dude, for sure. Thank you. Um, hope you like them. 
they got some thump to them, so they're they're good. They just don't like um, like the goopy thick moss or like really thick grass. They don't like it, but open water like around rocks and stuff, they're 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 sweet. I like them a lot, so. All right, let's see here. What I've done with my bobbin. It's already hanging there. It's already got, it's already ahead of me. What I'm gonna do is kind of get a little bit of the hair off the back side of this tail so that I get a little bit of brown in there with it. Because I want them as dark, kind of dark and dull as I can get them for the fish that this guy is gonna be targeting with these uh with these jigs. Per his request. Hey, what's up, Mr. Logan? Parker, fishing with the Parkers. How you doing, man? How's the weather where you're at? How's uh how's the fishing? throw a little kind of a brown and olive green chenille on this perfect sunny and 75 that's what i'm talking about dang i'm jealous no we're not far off man it, it wasn't too bad today it was a kind of sprinkled rain there at the end of the day a little bit of rain moved in but I don't know what. How warm did it make it today? Mid sixties. Oh, be nice to Gracie, buddy. Yeah, you. you. Thank you. You're the only bay I got. I got seven. Made it to seventy today. Not too bad. Need to go after some crappie. Yeah, you do. For sure, need to go after some crappie. Can't complain. Yeah, no doubt. You been catching any fish? I know I seen you with one the other day on the Instagram. Looked like a pretty nice bass. I don't know. Do you they, that place that we went to? With the swing? The river? Well, they they can't own the river. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. But they can own the land to and from. Check this little dude out. This one's pretty wicked right here. Little few bass here and there. Ever tie flies? Not very often, man. I really do not enjoy tying flies. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Not my favorite thing. I like that chenille on there. Looks good, that brown tail. Be good. Dropped it, gone forever. We'll never find it again. I'm joking, I've seen it. There's a piece of paper there. It landed on. Nice olive, yes sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't really enjoy the flies. I don't, I don't know. Something about them. I think at some point, you know, just like enough's enough on, on sizing down. These 180th jigs are, they're pretty fun. I do enjoy them a lot, but 
I've dropped my, there it is. How much do you have? I need one. Going to bed, have a good night. All right, Queen Hess, thank you for being here. Tell uh, Mr. Ken if he gets done with, whenever um, Mr. Ted gets done, he can more than welcome to hop over here if he wants to. This is a peak, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Just If you just Google peak vice, it'll pull this one up. It's just a, I got the pedestal, the marble pedestal base. Just peak rotary vice. This is what I use now. Peak, like the peak on a mountain. I like it a lot. It's been a beast. I got it at Bass Pro, so that'll help. That should help out. Let them know. Thank you. Need some skipjack jigs. Man, I can fix it up. I need to go somewhere and catch some skipjack. That would be a fun bite to get on, especially with Sophie. Get Sophie on some skipjack. That'd be a blast. Never caught one. Um, I'm assuming just, you know, hit up below a dam and cast a little jig out there. Bright colored, my understanding. Yellows and reds, I think, do well, maybe. But like I said, I've never, never caught one. So we don't have a river around here, so... We don't have a dam. If it's navigable water, you just have to stay in the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, about that river. Um, Actually, where she was talking about on the Cossatot River, she was talking about the Blue Hole, which not going to pull up on a map, but... No, that's what locals call it. What we call it around here, Um, but it's... I couldn't even tell you where it is. It's really small. It's... Up there, I don't want to tell them. That's our swimming hole. No, it's up. Who? Who's asking? Nobody. Oh. Up in Shady Mountain. Got somebody commenting on a video. Have to get back with Mr. David there. I don't know who that was. Commented on the boat video, it looked like. Even though you outfished me today, I had a great time. <laughs> Thank you for going. It was fun. Sure was. And happy birthday to you also, Mom. She didn't? No, she was just saying she had a good time. It was fun for sure. We need to get somewhere to a pond and get uh, get sister on some fish and get you, and it'd just be a good time. Get everybody some the, fishing. Or the stairs. Yeah, we dropped some of these little bitty jigs off at the stairs there at uh, one of our local lakes. Tear them up there. Oh, yeah. Bobber and worm. Or a bobber and worm, like Sophie said, yeah. Problem with worms, you get your hands all gross. Which, which video? The boat video? The. Our new boat, the yeah. Video? Yeah. Well. You just want to see what he said? Yeah. Oh. Sophie's on it. The amount of ads. Baby, are you watching them all for me? Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's playing. <laughs> I'm joking. All right. One more of the olive. We got one more. Only way I've ever fished with a bobber and worm until today. Yeah. They'll be running soon. The skipjack. Is that what you're talking about, Glenn?
All right. Skipjacks are running like crazy at the Kentucky Dam. Oh, this is a long drive, though, for us. Below Kentucky Lake, Kentucky Dam. Pendleton. I don't know where any of these places are. Kentucky Dam's like, yeah, like a 15-hour drive from here, probably. Anthony J been catching them though. Well, he fishes down below the Kentucky Dam quite a bit. I don't know where Pendleton is. I've heard about it. I've heard that name. I want to say I've seen that name on the. Um, it's only four hours to the Kentucky Dam for you. Nice. That ain't awful. Not too bad. Oh my gosh. What? You started the boat up and I said a big old engine. Baby. What is wrong with me? You're stink. You just now watching that video? No, no, it's like just Forty five hundred views later and you ain't even one of them. I ain't getting not any support. <laughs> I'm joking. My biggest support. Four hours. So you're probably three hours, three and a half hours from me. So it's a good seven hours, seven and a half hours to the mud skipper. Yeah. We need to we need to have us a name our boat contest. I like white lightning. Yeah, skipjack. I think Glenn may be behind just a, not too bad, but just a little bit of bad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just a little bit behind. About a minute, minute and a half maybe. One more of those. Tail's a little long on that one, but they can trim it off if they want to. Six hours from here, Pendleton is too. Oh, okay. Oh, Pendleton. That's a matte brown one. That's a matte brown one. I gotta try to keep these by color here. So I'm not constantly changing thread colors. Big damn bridge. That's in um Little Rock, right? Or no? I don't know. No, I guess that's in Arkadelphia on DeGray, yeah. I don't know. Actually, have genuinely no idea. Southeast Arkansas, between Gillette and Dumas. I got you. I know where Dumas is at. All right. 98. No, it should be around 200, Logan. Um, if... Uh, Somebody mentioned the gas mileage, essentially. On what? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's barely six gas, which is nice. Yeah. A boat can have good gas mileage? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Saw that one, too. Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, this one was like the $200 one. But I wanted that rotary and everything. How do you check the skipjack run? <laughs> Probably just call people and be like, hey, man, are you catching them at the dam? <laughs> you got to know somebody who knows somebody. To get info about them skipjacks. Be 
be sweet if there was like a one eight. <laughs> you just got to know, folks. Yeah, I don't know if there was like a one eight hundred number that we could call and be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I was just wanting to see if uh, are the fish biting down there?" I show I'm live. Are you live right now? Can you hear me? <laughs> Researching and responding. Oh, heck. Yes. Yes. The skipjack are running below the dam. I'm joking. Is that video still getting views? Oh, yeah. That guy said, do you know who this is? No. The David? It'd be the only one that I haven't responded to. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't say David. Oh, okay. Ten seconds behind on my end. I'm behind? How would I be behind? How's that a thing? <laughs> He's behind. Is that a possible... He said, no dummy. <laughs> oh, I'm messing with you, Glenn. I know it. Dang it. Well, I was hoping that the guy that I'm making these for popped in tonight. I'm going to make him a uh, couple of the UV resin ones. I think Glenn's talking to himself. 10 seconds for tea. Dang. Took her out the vice before I even resined it. Man, that sucker right there spins true. Look at that. They're hardly... What? The amount of ads on these videos. There's hardly any wobble on that, where that body's at. That's nice there. <laughs> Live delay 10 seconds for real. All right, let's really seal this one up here. There's another jig I'll throw in this dude's order. He can have it just for. Oh, it's not even baby one. All righty, so. You done? What? You're done? Me? Yeah. No, I'm not done. I got. I've had like six. Like 20 or 19 more. I ain't even tied any of the big ones. I mean the small ones yet. On here? Yeah, I can hear. No, I can hear you because I'm in the same room as you. Yeah. But it'll play back and then it's delayed like ten seconds, and then I can't concentrate. I don't even know what you said. And it's all weird, you know. Yeah. Do you know where any AAA batteries are? Yes. You do? Where at? I'm in DD. Hey, Mo Dog. Tying some jiggies. I'm going to spin mine if the trueness isn't to that standard I want to refund. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I can get, I'll get it. Where are they at? I don't know. Oh, you told me? You just said yes. I know we have some. Crazy lady. I think there's some on here. I need two of them if, if ins you don't mind. Oh, batteries. Fishing with Mo Dog. If the trueness isn't <laughs> to that standard, I don't want to read it. Uh, three A's. Triple A? Yes, ma'am. Are those energizers? Dang, um. I bought a packet of batteries. Big money. I don't know, Matt. 
How many? Two. I had, um, I just threw away some Amazon Can basics. You keep these over there for when it dies again. All right, then. Under the... I'm going to put them in the bowl. Sure. You'll never find me. Okay, now, where do you want me to put them? Under the, right here? I don't know. Just Perfect, right there in the corner. I hope I don't forget and throw them away. All right. Now then. Oh, yeah. Now we can cure it up quick in a hurry. That's what I'm talking about. All right, there's a little. Is it better? Yes. All brown. Looks like a little jelly bean. I'm pretty sure I just knocked a one eightieth ounce jig off on the floor. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I got them all. Okay. Cool. All right. I got it. Huh? I got two. You got what? Clean britches. All right. Mo Dog, did you catch any fish that last time you went fishing? The other day? Oh, it's okay, Mo Dog. The chat has not been that active. It's just been us trying to figure out if Glenn's lagging or not. <laughs> hey, Mr. Lance. <laughs> she does, yep. It is only, I'm going to tell you why. I could not find either of my uh, olive ones while I was trying to scramble and get live because I told somebody I would be live at 8, and it was like 8.30. So I grabbed whatever Rock Creek Bait Company had I could find and uh, <laughs> jumped on here. So, hey, Ken, 30, ba 30 bass. That gum. Oh, he ain't keeping on. Keeping on. No. 30 bass limit. What are you making? Jiggies. Little baby jiggies. Pretty? Pretty? You mean it? I like this color. Trying to find a skipjack run. Yeah, that's a pretty run. Caught and released one tiny little speckled trout. That's pretty neat. Don't know what a speckled trout is. It's a type of trout. It's a trout with speckles on it. I think it's brown. It's like speckles. How dare you research skipjack runs? <laughs> Fill us in. Dang it, Glenn. Yeah, no doubt. You just go catch them for fun, or do you keep them for catfish bait? I know you ain't eating them. Hope. Oh. Saltwater fish related to the drum family. That's cool. Talking to the inside sources. All three pounds and under. Yeah, but you got 33 pounders. You still had a 90 pound day, Mo Dog. Pretty darn good day if I say so myself. Keep them for bait, yeah. I figured. Trying to find out if they're early. I'll take a 90 pound day over a, over any day. I've never caught 30 fish in one day, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie said, yes, we have. I have, I've caught 50 sunfish sometimes. That's my shirt, you're doing right? Yeah, perch jerking at the stairs is one thing. Oh, it counts, baby. You don't mind me do it? No, I do it. You gotta fold the white part in. 
first and then push it. You fold the white part in, you fold the white part out. I'm trying to hold goldfish. <laughs> oh, real world stuff over there. Oh, no. Hey. Hey. Yeah, push, push it in. Just push it in. Certified fishing nut. If you're still here, they're 10 bucks, man. Our Bambi blades are $10. Putting together some pier fishing gear. Awesome. Caught them all on the jackhammer. That's what I'm talking about. Used some Rock Creek, <laughs> Rock Creek jigs today. That's cool. Didn't catch no fish on them though. Still gave them a shot. I appreciate you trying. I have a text in to the guy that supplies a lot of bait stores. <laughs> Going back to try with the Bambi blade and do a comparison. Well, you done caught them all today. They ain't gonna be eating for you again. They're like, whenever that dude shows up in that plastic thing that he floats around on above us, don't eat anything that day. Just, just when he's floating around, just don't. Use a green twister tail above it on a two-inch jig rig. Try to hit the plastic. Oh, okay. That's cool. Well. It's hard to compete with the, when you got a twister tail in the mix. Good deal. Never mind. I found it the Bambi blade. <laughs> Not today. This was Wednesday. It's hard to compete with a grub worm now. Grub worms, that's, they catching the fish. They've been catching fish for years. It's hard to beat a grub worm. I say that like a hair jig hadn't. Huh? Grub worms are real. Grub worms are real. Remember Dylan found a grub worm in the garden? Yeah. One day Dylan come up. We were over there working on the boat or something. And uh, he comes up and was like, hey, look, I got a worm. They running below any dam on the Arkansas River with good flow. A guy caught 600 last Saturday. He did not. <laughs> Sophie said, no, he did not. <laughs> White and red. And a black and short fish. 600 fish? Oh, 600 fish. At one time? At one time. No, he did not. In one day. 600 fish. Okay. All day. Skipjack Smackdown. Hey, village dweller. Welcome to the party. Thank you for being here. That's a insane bite. I ain't never been on nothing like that. And made money. That's what I'm talking about. That's crazy. Was there anybody there to ask him where he gets that at? I guarantee if you would have been, you would have been asking. But where are you catching these at? Let me in there. Move over. Thank you, Wayne. Let me flip it around. I'll show you. This is one of our UV resin, UV resin baits. Other phone died as soon as you logged in. Whiting are starting to show up, so I'm told I'm switching over to salt now. Have daylight in the evening. That's awesome. 
Hey, Emily, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Three to four at a time on some casts. Dang, that's crazy. That little jelly bean of a looking thing. I got three more. Six more. <laughs> Dweller. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Swapped over to the red bug head. Did they happen to say on what jigs? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, find out color, color size. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Aquaman, the Lost Kingdom. Nice. The Arkansas River? Skipjack or like Shad? No, no. He didn't catch no 600 bass in a day. Them Modog numbers. Skipjack's like a shad. It, I mean, it's just a type of... Did they cast at them? No. That was in the first cast. Casting at them. Catch that many in one cast. All right, red bug. What color you want? Red? Probably not. Maybe just black. Skipjack is a herring. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, hunting and stuff. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. You eat, I guess you could eat them then, being a herring. They have like pickled, kippered herring or whatever. Pickled fish? I didn't mean to say pickled. Oh. I think like the kippered, whatever, kipper snacks. I think that's herring. Doing good, doing good, hunting and stuff. Uh, tying some stuff up. Try to do a little bit of fishing. Oh, oh, I got a question, I got a question. So that reel I did in the last live. Now, night, on my live last night, is now I'm out on a reel, on a rod and full of new line. Ready for some bottom jigs, heck yeah, that's awesome. Why? Oh, Sophie said, is there anybody Irish in chat? Because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Kippering is a way of smoking and canning fish, yeah. Uh, Sabiki rigs or crappie jigs with a bigger jig. Wait on bottom to get it down. Little pass service. Like, 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 like sardines and stuff. Oh, sardines. They do not taste like saltwater herring. <laughs> Hunting and stuff said he's part Irish. There you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Usually use crappie jigs. White, pink, orange, flashy. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we're a long ways from the Arkansas River. Yeah. yeah. It's a... I mean, we cross it up in Fort Smith and we cross it. We cross it a bunch. But, but isn't there a place where it gets like really big? The whole river's big. I mean, wide, though. Like... It gets real wide. In Yeah. Arkansas River's a big one. How long is it? Huh? How long is Arkansas River? Yeah, how long is it? 614 miles. How much? 1,469. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. That's crazy. It's a 310 mile walk. Arkansas and Washtenaw. Below dams. So we may have to, we could run over to like Blakely, Brady Mountain, hit a Washtenaw River. Thought today I need to tie one for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I do for sure. I'll have to um, find something green. 
Not gonna drink any green beer. Last time I drank it, almost got dead. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, be careful. Don't be uh, don't be getting crazy on us. Yeah, I just don't remember if majority is a major tributary of the Mississippi River. It generally flows to the east and southeast as it traverses the United States of Colorado. Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. That's still crazy. I knew it started in Colorado and went to, um, to the Mississippi River. I just didn't. I don't guess I realized. The river's source basin lies in Colorado, specifically the Arkansas River Valley. The headwaters derive from the snowpack and the Sawatch and Mosquito mountain ranges. It flows east into Kansas and finally through Oklahoma and Arkansas where it meets the Mississippi River. Mississippi, honestly? Yep. So what does it say? It goes through Arkansas, Oklahoma. Goes through Oklahoma too, yeah. Kansas? Oh. Kansas right above Oklahoma. The Washtenaw River originates right here where we're at, and you can also like step across it. It's about two foot long, two foot wide. And it goes like that, and then down. Nice. Um, yeah, the Washtenaw River is teeny tiny here where we're at. There's spots like where we'll go. The river is usually determined by Oklahoma. Nice. Kerr, like. Oh, yeah, it flows. The Arkansas River? The first one it comes to is John Martin Reservoir. John Martin. Colorado. John Martin in Colorado. I lost it. Gone. She lost it. Cross the Arkansas River when we go to Mississippi. Yep. Show sure enough. Out that way for sure. Cross it there and probably Little Rock, I reckon. Little Rock. Oh. Dylan, how are you still awake, bud? Hey, Mr. David, we are doing great. How are you doing? I'll research. I'm not sure I'm gonna make your name. I'll research. That boy Googled it. What? Oh, he didn't Google it. That's not a way to do research. I mean, he's researching by asking his buddies, hey man, they biting below Blakely Dam? I'm about to put that son to sleep. <laughs> so he said, he's just Googling stuff. You ain't gonna find nothing on the internet telling you where the fish are biting, though. What? <laughs> howdy, howdy. Doing good. Awesome. I'm glad. Good to hear it. No damage from the storms the other night, I guess. That's good. Glenn's got people. Sophie said, do you have any more, any more Amazon drivers come up in the house or? It's probably not funny. No, Wanna be, did you catch anything? Oh yeah. Buddy lives in Colorado. He's been to the mouth of the Arkansas. Oh, that's cool. Little west of us, awesome. Good deal. Just tying up a few little things here tonight.
Kind of wait. Was kind of trying to wait on the guy that these are for, but. Is he spelling his name with one N or two? He ain't been in here. Glenn, one. He got one in. Ended live and caught a nice seven pounder. Got it on video. Nice. That's about how it goes. The fish are camera shy for sure. I am convinced of that. Uh, now my wife decided to go break her ankle. Oh man, had surgery. Needs me to push her around in a wheelchair for five or six weeks. Dang it. Well, hopefully she has a speedy recovery and that ankle heals up good for her. What? What David said. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Catch you later. All right, Emily. Thank you for being here tonight. Man, I have a lot before Matt been in Colorado too, but I don't guess he's seen the start of the river. You said she's. I know, I meant he. <laughs> that gum. Friend has connections to Skipjack Run because they sell them. It's not something people share. Kind of like where they caught crappie. <laughs> yep. Fishing and turkey hunting. Dang it. Then as people, then as our people, circle of life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Hey, what's up, Just Jag? How you doing, man? Welcome in. About to mess her up. She's breaking some scissors in. About to be me when this live stream's over. Yeah. I know what I'm eating when this live stream's over. Heating up some of that Cajun Alfredo. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> She's like, whatever, shut up. <laughs> All right, now if I can get down and fish with Glenn. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, then the lot, then it would be full circle. Because then he finds out, finds them. He can find out colors and everything. And then he can just guide you. Where do you fish at? <laughs> Dang it. Just Glenn was talking about keeping it a secret and then somebody just said, where do you fish at? Sworn to secrecy. Well, heck. What part of the state? Yeah. Another little pale colored guy. I guess red's not really that pale, but it's not flashy. So maybe they'll think it's a little crawdad. Don't say God because then he'll charge me. Yeah, no doubt. The gray when I'm home. Southeast Arkansas when I can on the White River and Arkansas River. The gray. That is a lake that Sophie and I have got to get to. We've never, I've never even, and I've never seen the gray 
even like from the bank. I've never even maybe like drove past it just randomly, but absolutely have never fished it. I gotta get over there one of these days and check it out. I need to get over there whenever you're taking your brush piles out there and follow you around. <laughs> fish anywhere there's fish, yeah. I fish places there's not fish just because, you know, it's fun to just be out there. Beautiful lake, but it's tough sometimes. That's how I feel about Lake Greason. I love Lake Greason, man. Beautiful, beautiful water. The, you know, it's always clean. There's no trash piled everywhere. It's just always a pretty lake. But man, it sucks fishing sometimes. <laughs> Maybe in April, Glenn, we can work out. We can, I can get down there. Beautiful lake. Heard about that monster bass caught out of the gray. Awesome looking lake. Never fished it. Yeah, same here. Start hearing about 10 pounders. I mean, it definitely makes you want to go hang out. Hey, Mr. Dave, man, I heard about that. I Obviously, you're still in ICU. Are you, is everything all right? I mean, two stints. We're going to be praying for sure, Dave. Um, tonight, before we go to bed, we'll, we'll pray for you. But that's, I really hated to hear that. Thank you for popping in and giving us a little update. Sure do appreciate it. We're just tying some little bitty, little bitty jigs. Yeah, for sure. I really hated to hear that. They said you'll live. Good deal. That's the that's the most important thing for sure. Sure did hate to hear it. Uh, I can't tell what color that is. I think it's just black. Good news, yeah. Making rod holders when it happened. Dang, they say work will kill you. Mm. I sure I'm glad to see you in here and know everything's gonna be all right anyway I can't even tell what color these jigs are I think it's black I'm gonna call it just say it's black it's either black or purple genuinely can't tell Yeah, it's black. All right. Yeah, buddy. What's up? What did you just say? <laughs> that 
white ponytail holder that you threw at me to the right of my refiner. It was a horrible throw. Gregory came on the line and told us, glad you're doing good for sure. I always say hug a friend. Tomorrow is never promised. What happened? Mr. Dave had a heart attack. Oh, he has a heart attack. He's in here right now. He is? He says in ICU right now. Yeah. And he's on live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough man. They don't make them like, like they used to. Oh. I'm telling you. Wow. He said two stints later, he said they said he'll live. Oh, but, yeah. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, Mom. For sure. Hug a friend. Tomorrow's never promised. No doubt. You know how Dylan says, can I have five minutes, five minutes to play? Just five more minutes, yeah. Oh, now he's saying six minutes to play? Well, six more. We got one more minute. Oh, adding. Adding, adding him another one in there. You're just stumbling around? <laughs> yeah, in ICU and in alive, yep. That's crazy. I guess nothing else to do, you might as well. Be there, be square. Yep. Did you get that giant, that big Dollar Tree Dr. Pepper out of my truck whenever you went out there? I did not. Dang it. It's not cold, no. <laughs> I like the way of thinking, for sure. I know it ain't cold, but it show would be wet. Papa's got whose rocks? Uh oh. I was like, do what? Gotta show my love. <laughs> That's incredible right there. Trying to find a Chanel card that's gonna look decent on there. Maybe that dark purple, what do you think? There's some gray, green, there's some blues. Blues gonna be too bright. I'm attempting to build some shell cracker jigs, what, what these are, uh, Dave. For um, this little shell cracker fish, so. red ears or whatever you want to call them. Just know that they're trout strippers. Trout. I ain't trying to go. I mean, it, yeah. If we go catch trout, we'll go back down to uh, below Greason. That's our favorite trout fishing. That's a good time down there. AP? AP. Is that what you're talking about? AP what? Huh? What'd you say? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> Mouthing the juice over there. Oh, well, that place is public, so. It is public. Um, no, 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 not not AP, no. 
No. I'm talking about below the dam where we went to Murfreesboro. Remember? She gone. Passed out. Okay. Swords has failed me. I'm sorry. I'm fixing up on the chat. Nobody knows if Skipjack or at Blakely. I guess they're, um, they'd be more below, Washtenaw River would be more below, um, Catherine or Hamilton, between Hamilton and Catherine. I guess Catherine is right below Hamilton. Is there any river between? Or is it just pretty much like straight Hamilton to Catherine? I've also never been on Hamilton or Catherine, so. Those sources failed. Closest dam on the Arkansas for me. I have absolutely no idea. I've never fished the Arkansas River. I don't know. Maybe Dardanelle? You may have found the closest one to us. Yeah, I found the closest dam on the Arkansas River. Maybe like Dardanelle, something like that. Down by Camden. I think Camden's a pretty, pretty good drive. It's about four hours one way. To Camden? Yep. My brother went to, went to college there. We got one closer than that. Check Dardanelle. How long does it take you to drive to Dardanelle? Like maybe an hour and a half, something like that. I said, how long does it take uh, to drive to Dardanelle Bay? Dardanelle? Yeah. I don't even know what I would Google to find that out. Just type in our town to Dardanelle, Arkansas. Hour and 57 minutes, a little I'm bit further. Dance. Murray has skippies. It takes me about three hours to drive to Little Rock. We're in Mena, so we're like right on the state line. We're exactly an hour and a half away from absolutely anything. There's nothing within an hour and a half anywhere of Mena except, um, you can get to Hochatown, Oklahoma, which is a fun little town to go over there and hang out. But they got Broken Bow Lake, Beaver's Bend State Park down there. Other than that, there ain't nothing around around here. Oh, here's a whole backstory about it. Oh. We ain't got no bowling alley. We ain't got nothing. We were talking about the day, about that today. Then uh, there ain't nothing. We got Walmart. Dardanelle's my closest, yeah. Closest dam to use a White River dam. Um, we've got like, we could be at Blakely uh, Dam for about an hour and a half. But that's Washtenaw River, of course. But Wait, what river am I looking at? Arkansas? Murray. I don't know where Murray's at. Yeah, Arkansas River. I don't know where Murray's at. Um, we've got Little River, too, down at Millwood. is not too far from us. Oh, sucks. Hey, West Boundary Coons, Tiberius. Welcome in. Ooh, I found one. I found it. What? That's crazy. What? The um, James W. Trimble Rockin' Dam in Barlow, Arkansas. Oh, Barling, that's in Fort Smith. That'd be, that would be our closest, actually. There's a lock, lock and dam in uh, Barling, Arkansas. It's only about an hour and a half. I guess that'd be closer than Dardanelle, but. Dardanelle's Murray is 10 minutes from your house. What? It was James. It's crazy. Only bad thing about Dardanelle is you can really. Fish close to the dam on Darnell's side. And it'll be stacked up with people. James Trimble. Trimble. Oh, yeah, it's closest to you. So that's the one in Barling, yeah. 
Hey, what's up, Hitch? Got the old blue Rock Creek, Rock Creek Bay Company hat on tonight. That's not that much closer. An hour and thirty-seven minutes. Yeah, it's about twenty minutes closer than Dardanelle. Yeah. All right, sweet. We might make us a trip up there. They will run until the end of May. Is that what somebody said? Is that what Glenn said? We're booked up. Uh, huh? What? What? Whoever listens. Oh. oh. I know. Yeah. Mr. Lance hooked Sophie up with a blue hat. I couldn't find my olive hat tonight, so I was like, you know what? Blue goes with red. Let's do it. I don't think blue goes. Hey, you answer David's David, David, uh, question about Little Rock? Yeah. It's about three hours to Little Rock. Ten minutes from my house, yeah. <coughs> Still catch them in May at Wilbur D. Mills. Yeah, if we go to Little Rock, you have to go to Bass Pro. That's crazy. Ten minutes. To what? To Little Rock? I don't know where any of those places that you've said tonight have been, Glenn. Pretty insane. What is it? I just know where, like, Sophie was talking about the Costot River. Wait, hey, what's up, Mr. Travis? Where's the Bass Pro at? Bass Pro's in West Little Rock, or Bryant. Bryant is listed before Little Rock. Yeah, it's, you know... Hot Springs and then up from Hot Springs on 70, you come into exit 111. Then, oh, so we don't go actually to Little Rock. We don't ever get really into Little Rock. We don't ever even oh, get on. I thought we passed Little Rock. No, no. All that road work that we go through is in Benton, between yeah. our exit on Hot Springs exit and Benton, um, it's been like years which is nuts. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, yeah, Clayton. Yeah, he was on here. Um, he was looking for stuff. Hoping the oceans will let me try out the saltwater jigs. Dude, that would be awesome, Jake. Hey, what's up, Travis? Welcome in, man. Thanks for being here tonight. Seven minutes if there's no traffic on I-4. Can I time out, David, huh? It took him seven minutes to get to To get to that Murray where they're talking about where all the skipjack are right now. Oh. <laughs> Fish is where the catalytic converters are at a premium. Yeah, no doubt. Sophie and I seen some sketchy stuff go down at a Popeyes one time in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think actually we were in Fort Smith, but it sounded better. I think we were in Fort Smith though. <laughs> time out, David. Walls of death. Skipping? Yeah. Do what, baby? We're going to Dartmouth to fish for skipping? Us? Yeah. Me and you? Yeah. We're probably not going to go fish for skipjack. Well, we have to assume because I'm like, you're not going to get more money than this. Yeah, so, Sophie ain't, she ain't big on the doing stuff anymore, being all pregnant and whatnot. Wilbur D. Mills. I ain't never heard of that. Where's that at? I'm going to find it. Sophie's going to find it for us. Wilbur D. Mills. Wilbur. Wilbur. Hey, Vance, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you for being here tonight. Benton, where there is the walls of death. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, truth to that. What I want to know is how many cut their own off to get paid. Oh, yeah. Buddy Edo says you got to be careful what ramp you use around Little Rock. He caught a guy with half his cut off a couple years ago. Dang. Okay, so. Fuck this. Us? 
How's Edo been? Where's he at? Hadn't seen nothing from him in a while. Us. April S? Yeah. Uh, Pipe Street? Yeah. Pine Bluff? Yeah. Wilmer? Down below Pine Bluff. But. Long uh, ways. Exact, you know how far away we are from the state line? Yeah. Wilmer's is almost the exact length from the state line, but on the other side. From the state? Oh, so it's down on the there. the other side, though. Oh, it's plumb over. By Mississippi. Like by Arkansas City? Is it that far south? Baby, I can't see that. Oh, sure enough. I don't see anything. All right. Okay. I can't see it. Oh, we're fishing. Leave your boat on the bank and your gear, and no one touches it. Did you ever try Yeah, for sure. That's us, too. Did you ever travel to Dumas in school for games? Mm, no. All right. It's, it's, it's past Dumas. Oh, it's down there. I think you told me that earlier. Not at the gray. Never had issues at Murray. Of course, you don't have a boat, so you're not far from your truck, yeah. Murray? Is that his name? Yeah, it's a lake. Is yeah. M-U-R-R-A-Y or is this one? I think it's M-U-R-R-Y. It's over right next to Little Rock. Hey, Ted, what's up? Tying some stuff up, man. Normal Saturday night stuff. Was waiting on a guy to come in here that these are for, but I have not seen him, but he may be in the background. He, uh, no telling. He hadn't yelled stop yet, so if he is here, he's not absolutely hating them. I don't have issues at Murray either. I don't go. <laughs> yeah. New one to get on the river. Resmond Park, half mile from the dam. That's nice and it's patrolled all day. Try the AY. Yeah, I'm still find it on the map. Some of them are saying with a Y and some of them say it without a Y, so. I mean, with an A or not with an A. Let me just find Little Rock, I guess, and then I'll find it. Little Rock over there. We got a Murray Lake. That's it. That's what they're talking about. It's on the west side, isn't it? It's, uh, maybe, maybe. It's on the left. Does it look like I know where West is? <laughs> I have no idea. I do not know West. So is it, look at me. Does it look like I know where West is? Do you pass the McDonald's or not? Pass the McDonald's. You did. You, you probably back. passed several McDonald's. It's a three-hour drive to that lake. It's three hours, so it's probably definitely on the west side. Cool beans. It's in the middle of, of between Monel, Pinnacle, Shady Grove, and Little Rock. And it's in the middle of all of it. I heard Lake Monel is pretty good. I was just looking at that one. It's hard to type. Got you all IV'd up. Dang, Dave. I hate that. Big time hate that for you. If you go up to Mayflower, you can go to Lake Conway. There's a whole lot of right stuff going on right there in that area. Beaver Fork Lake. Or past Conway. There's Mom, Lake Maumelle. And Con, which Conway's empty right now. There ain't no Lake Conway. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, there ain't no Lake Conway right now. That's a pretty big lake that they've raised. It's pretty good. Oh, there's a smaller lake right there. Yeah, in front for of sure. It. There's a little smaller lake right there in front of it. Really? Close. Called Grassy Lake. Grassy? G-R-A-S-S-Y? Grassy. Like it's got a lot of grass in it? I guess. Does it got, does, can anyone confirm, does Grassy Lake have a lot of grass in it? David does, Glenn. 
I want a catfish smallmouth. Anyone in here ever fished it? I've got a dude that lives in Bauxite or, you know, Benton, Bryant area over there that fishes Maumel a lot. Lake Maumel's on fire right now and I can't go. Where's Bauxite? Bauxite's just out from Bryant. Hey, look, Benton, Bryant, Bauxite okay. is down. What's on fire? I need intel. <laughs> Does he catfish it? <laughs> little triangle of bees. Yeah, little little bee beast. Look at the, the Steve. There ain't no lakes over there by Seco Steve. There's water, Timber Lake. Yeah, I don't think that's a tagged us in a post. Lake Maumel. Oh, the white bass run is right now. All of your 16th ounce red bucktail jigs are sitting there, and Mrs. Smith is in a wheelchair. Dag gum. <laughs> There's a whole new prime number two reservoir. That sounds exciting. That does sound exciting. Bounce like a wow wow. Oh, the white bass run. I can go, I'll go down, take your boat, and stay at your house. <laughs> hey, there you go. Still in the package. Dang it. Don't even know if they look good or not. <laughs> I swapped over to 180th ounce. We got all of his um 32nd ounce stuff done. Wait, I thought I knew where David lives. David? Yeah. Smith? Yeah. That's in here? Yeah. We don't know exactly where he lives, but we've sent stuff to him before. You a creeper? They look awesome. You seen them? Oh, thank you. Man, that Lake Washtaw is big. That Lake Washtaw is big. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I rode all around on it with my Mr. Boater yeah. man who swore up and down we was going to just wax them. But you know Mm -hmm. And then you zoom out and look at lakes. Yeah. And then you zoom out more and then the lakes disappear. Lake Washtenaw never disappears. It's just so big. Zoom out, it's still there. Baby, Lake Washtenaw is huge. I know. It makes me mad how big it is. Greer's Ferry, like, the same way. It's Greer's Ferry ain't nothing like Washtenaw. I know, but the more I zoom out, the, I can still see it. Greer's Ferry's got, like, two lakes. There's, like, a north and a south side that's separated by that little bitty canal. Nice fish on the mail. Can you fish the canal? Yeah, okay. I'm on a mountain. Yeah. What's the name of the inlet? It's both Greer's. It's just, the canal's bigger than it looks like on that map. I mean, it's, you know, well, you large. Giant well, flathead on the mail. Short. Uh, It was a short. Oh, it was a YouTube short. I was thinking like a short, like slot limit short. Like they got a slot limit on the catfish. I'm with you. Who wants me to fish a tournament there in June? Catfish be spawning in June. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> hey, and Angie. Yeah, he caught that. It was about two years ago. <laughs> Travis, grow your hair and beard out until 2025. <laughs> why? Oh, Sophie said, why? She didn't immediately re reject it, so there's still hope. I was I was going to say there's no chance, but there's... But you can't do that. You're a give me a little, little glimpse of hope there. <laughs> Greason has the best swimming. He says that because he fell out the back of the boat into the lake. <laughs> Uh, till 2025. Are you going to do that, Travis? Ted, you going to do it?
just absolutely yeah, sawing them off over there. No way they didn't hear that. Did y'all hear Dylan snore just then? Getting up early to camp. All right, Ted. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Also. Off also. the hook outdoors. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> Sophie's like, who is Otho? I'd have to go back. Thought he was in a boat, but maybe not. Oh, maybe <laughs> cut my beard off Friday. Your dad cut his beard off yesterday. No, he did not. He just said he did. No, he didn't. I'm just saying. The man just said he did. No, he didn't. He would not do that to our son. Baby, I think he probably would. No, he would not. He would do that to me. You don't want to see that. Baby, I've done seen a picture of it. And I know I don't want to see it. He said, well, about a foot, a foot. He cut about a foot of it off. He didn't have a foot. He didn't have a foot to cut off, did he? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, the picture I saw of that fish, he was holding it standing on the dock where he weighed it, if it's the same fish. Oh, well. I wonder if, uh, hey, what's up, fish head videos? Welcome in. Sure appreciate it. Thank you for being here. We're tying some itty bitties. Well, Keith didn't make it in, did he? Keith ain't make it. I'll be back. Glenn's going to get some more of that juicy info for us. Oh, he's going to find that short is what he's doing. Do what? There's only 10 people? Google. Oh, he's going to Google. He's going to find that short of that person. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Everything is sweating. Everything is sweating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You weirdo. How you doing tonight, fish head? We're hanging out, tying some little bitties. That's all right to be a little bitty. Which one's very good? I can't remember. Off the hook. Outdoors is Mr. Ted there. Is this not the key? Show does. Okay. I'll do Tell me how to catch a scout, a trout. <laughs> how to catch a trout. Three day skunk in the mountains. So are you on, you're on wild trout, I'm assuming, if you're in the mountains. Um. So he's a can of corn. Step two, you open it. Put it on the hook. I go hook. Big old can of corn on a gold hook. Winners tonight. Uh oh. Well, that's good. Everybody. <laughs> Aunt, Aunt Angie said they just see. Uh, she said that they just won. Hey, your tongue do have a catch trout. Oh yeah. Three days skunk in the mountains. I was kind of waiting to see if he's catching stock trout or. Native. I'm assuming native if you're in the mountains. Um, man, small. Go small. Downsize, I think. If you're catching um, native trout, I would say something really like buggy looking. Something that looks like a bug, whatever. Mammal one. That's what I'm talking about. That's a pretty good video. It was a year ago. I'd take some 2.1k views. The name of the channel is called World Record Redneck. World Record Redneck. You said it has 1.36k. 3.16k subscribers? 1.36k. I've never heard of them before in my life. Yeah. Like, I think I got a piece of deer hair in my eye. Mm. Mamma one, good deal. What's up, Mr. Domingo? Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Even flies. 
This video is gonna be a camp video. <laughs> no catch and cook. Been going small, huh? That's crazy. No luck. Are they wild trout? Yeah, are, are they wild trout? I'm still... Yeah, I, I'm pretty certain that they are, baby. The only thing that we have around here are stocked trout. So, when we go hit them up on the, uh, on the cans of corn and the power bait and the little jigs like what I'm building right now, Fish head videos, raised outdoors. Oh. He's saying hello to everybody. <laughs> Wild river trout. Can't even go live here in South Carolina. What are you doing? Have y'all hit the college pond any lately? No, sir. Um, when's the last time we've hit the college pond? We were supposed to Friday, but it stormed. Yeah, we were going to yesterday, and we ended up not. Um, it's been a couple weeks. Since we've hit the college pond? Baby, I think it's been like five months. Well, we tried fishing a couple weeks ago, and, and the, it, was, it was windy, and we got out of there real quick. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, no, we haven't. It hadn't. We haven't hit them lately at all. Sophie said a couple weeks ago, but I, I don't. Baby, you don't remember that? I wasn't there. It, it was windy, and we didn't know how to find anything. Was it left? I think so, That's but. Like yeah, no, we haven't. Your dad. Okay. Big Malone. You got the thumbs up. You gotta go to Flathead fishing. I do not know if it was rod or reel or on a trot line, though. I know a few years ago, me and a friend was out there night fishing. He hooked into one and broke off of the boat. And he moved the boat 50 yards with the anchors at each end. Dang. <laughs> Move fast and just hit all the right spots. That's the key. So he said. Stealth and speed. You gotta okay, be quick and fast. Be stealthy and speedy. Stealthy and speedy, fish head. Sophie's on the Google for you since you don't have signal. And uh, she said the key for. Okay. Dang. I've never caught a flathead before in my life or a blue catfish. I've never caught either of those in my life. We've got them in the river, I think, like Washtenaw River, but... The problem is that the Washtenaw Rivers... I, I wish that y'all would understand, like, how, like, far we have to travel to do anything. <laughs> It's pretty insane. There's a little one eightieth. Uh -oh. Hey, corn fed experience. Welcome in. I actually cannot remember your name. I apologize. I apologize for that. I know you told me once. His name is Ted. It's not Ted. A hundred percent. It's not Josh either. Clint. Clint? Not, it's not Clint. Chris. I'm done with your games. <laughs> it's not Chris. It's not? Chris sounds close. Christopher. Okay. Rob, Rob that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Rob. I apologize for that. Well, I've seen you flat videos one after another. It's just good editing, Matt. 
My legs are wore out from all the waiting, trekking, and trails. Oh, I bet. Life on the island for nothing. That's right. All good. <laughs> all right, sweet. We're tying some uh, 180th ounce, little bitty guys. Here, tie them up. Get me some... Uh, some thread here. Are you on your phone live? I am. He can send, he can put a link and I'll watch it. Um, I'm on my phone, yes. You can share the link to chat and people can watch it if you want to do that or whatever. I love flathead fishing. PB's 52 pounds. Woo. <laughs> That's a big flathead, yeah, 64.6. <laughs> That's crazy. I guarantee you they've all seen some Richard Gene. He catches some big old catfish. <laughs> yeah, Richard Gene, when he sets out to catfish, he catches some big ones. Remember that one that he caught, a big brown one? What was it, like 70 pounds? It was like 70 pounds, and he caught it on a like an ultralight, like some like 8 or 12 pound line or something. It was nuts. Just found the article with a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, he had that drag set right because that dude would have took off with it. Eighteen cat videos. <laughs> Dang it. We just started weighing fish in last year or two. I put up eighteen cat videos all day, never in supply. <laughs> no doubt. I didn't know if he was on an iPad or what. Oh yeah. I'd sure like to have weights. What? Been trying to beat my PB for about eight years, but our rivers are low, so it's making it tough, yeah. So, f correct me if I'm wrong, though, but, like, flatheads, you basically have to use, like, live bait. Is that correct? I think everything I've seen catching flatheads is using, like, live bait. Only got two small crappie today. One on hatchet, underspins, and one on a 3.8 swim bait that he shouldn't have been eating. <laughs> That's cool, Travis. It's yeah, it's wild. The um, them eating big baits, man. It's it trips me out for sure. Like us catching the the ones on the wacky rig, and then those big um, the big uh, helgramites and stuff. I think I'm going to go to bed if I can with all these cords and the stupid blood pressure thing, taking my blood pressure every 15 minutes. All right, Mr. Dave, have a good evening. And, uh, man, we'll be praying that you recover quick. Take care of yourself and try to rest for sure. Uh, Glenn said, nope. Says it helps to have live bait. I like fresh shad as well, but I use live bullheads for the big ones. That's crazy still. Yep, hope you have a good evening, Mr. Dave. Sleep sleep as best as you can anyway. Is that flathead caught in Arkansas? The one that David Smith's talking about with the, yeah, 60-something pounds? Yeah. I think, I think he said it was caught on Lake Maumel. <laughs> Don't be sorry, Dave. Just hopefully you recover full recovery and get back to get back to tying and 
doing the normal stuff. And don't be sorry, Hi, just Arthur? just be Dave. Sixty-four pounds. That? I don't think it's a record, but it's a that's a big one. I like a lot of bullhead, but we fish so much structure they just hang you up. Yeah, catch as many or more on cut bait. It has to be fresh. Bait gets dispatched right before cutting it and running a hook through it. Oh yeah. It's a forty-nine inch fish. 49 inch fish, a big old fish. You like brim? Oh yeah, for um, flathead. That's cool. Cutting it, yeah. I figured out what you meant. Out of what? What lake? Uh, Arkansas River. I mean, this record that's listed for flathead is 80 pounds in 1989. That's, that would be the record. <clears throat> no, no, there's a new record. Four years ago, somebody caught 85 pounds. Where? It doesn't say. If it's not on the AGFC website, it's it not. It is. But when you click on the records, it's wrong. <clears throat> oh. I don't know. It may be an alternative method. If they did it with a um, trot line or something, it doesn't count for rod and reel. Um, catfish. It's hard to beat Bram. Hard to beat some Bram. I caught some Bram tonight for Papa that was dang. Two two of them green green sunfish were like hand size or or even just like a little bit bigger than hand. There's some big old green sunfish. Hey, the skipjack minis, are they called herrings? Yeah, they're a herring. The record for that is two pounds, ten ounces of Lake Dardanelle, uh -huh. 2004, from a boy from Little Rock. Oh, boy from Little Rock. Jeremy Whitcomb. Caught a two pound, how much? Ten ounces. Two pound, ten ounce skipjack out of Lake Dardanelle. That's a big old herring. That's a red horse. Red horse is a type of sucker, I think. There's so many weird fish out there, it's actually insane. Iowa flathead record is 81 pounds, caught way back in the 50s. There's 10 different species of bass listed. I can name all 10. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to name all 10, but you got uh, white, okay. largemouth, smallmouth, okay. spotted, okay. rock, okay. Um, yellow, yep. shadow, yes. um, Two 
I don't know, bass, a striper and hybrid. Yep, you got them. Nailed it. <laughs> Forgot about those stripers. The stripers are huge. The stripers are absolutely ridiculous. 64 pounds, 8 ounces. I'm impressed. Did y'all hear that mess? Named all 10. They're like, yeah, I can do that anytime, any day of the week. The yellow bass that you heard is out of Lake Washington. Three pounds? Two pound four. I've caught yellow bass that would have been pushing that record. Really? Yeah. Out of out of that little the lake in town that we that hit. Records as of 2022. There's some dang big old yellow bass up. I think we could break that record. Maybe. We should try it. Two pound yellow bass, a big old yellow bass, but I've caught some babe. I've caught some yellow bass that make you <laughs> State record gizzard shad. <laughs> what the heck? Was caught into gray in a net over three pounds. That's insane. You don't eat skipjack unless you turn it into a catfish first. Wipers are the hardest fighting fish ever. Yeah. Some of these records are old. Oh, yeah. Look at the black crappie. Black crappie is. I know. It's insane. The the dude who caught the state record black crappie out of a lake, like, in our backyard. Man, he was, like, 10 years old. Was 10 years old, and now he hates fishing. And it drives me nuts to even... He was a manager at a Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. We'd go through Taco Bell, and he'd be in there managing it up. Like, I tried to talk to him one night about crappie fishing, because, like, I'm in the same Taco Bell as, like, the state record holder. Like, I'm going to talk to him about crappie. He's like, no, nah, I hate fishing. Oh, deserve it. Dang man card to be revoked. Anyway, Have I'll quit ranting about an Ozark bass. An Ozark bass? Yeah. No. It seems like this would be an easy record to break. No, they don't get big. One pound, one ounce. Yeah, they don't get big at all. I've caught rock bass. One pound, eight ounces. Rock. rock. Yeah. I was going to say, they don't get big. You've seen me catch a rock bass. Yeah, I have. In the river. When we were floating the Caddo yeah. River, they've got rock bass. <laughs> I agree, David. And Travis, I know it is crazy. He should never be a shoot a man card. I know he hates fishing. Just caught it on a fluke accident. Just him and his grandpa and dad were out there and throwing minnows around and caught a, caught a five pound. Zero ounce black crappie oh gosh, in 2011. Blue catfish record, bro. 112 pounds? 116 pounds. 116. Iowa record black crappie 3.3. Maybe you can get on that, Mr. Rob. You could break that one. DeGray had world class hybrid fishing until bass fishermen whined. They couldn't catch big bass and blamed the hybrid program. Now they don't stick them anymore, stock them anymore. What happened? My YouTube shut off. Oh, not much. We've just been tying some jigs, and I named all 10 species of bass in the state of Arkansas and impressed myself <laughs> that I named them all. <laughs> hey, guess the state record for alligator roar. State record alligator roar. I'm going to give you a hint. 231 pounds. It's three digits. 215. 215, huh? Even. I said 231. Was I closer? The Arkansas River? Uh huh. From an Alvin Bond? Uh huh. In 1964. Alvin. Nobody's beat that since then. Probably never will. 235 pound. I said 215. Oh, 215 pound alligator guard is ridiculous. It's almost as big as the one I caught this evening at, down at the creek. I hooked a big old gar this evening. It was like, it wasn't no 200 pounds. I was messing with her. It probably was 30 inches long. That thing was, it was a big old gar for the little creek we were in. Rock Creek. I was in Rock Creek fishing. I'm 
Our black crappie was caught in 1967, 414. Trout get big, some trout. I, I, I thought they didn't get that big. There's five species of trout. Who lost their main guard? No, <laughs> talking about the guy who um, caught uh, the state record crappie in black crappie here's from our hometown and he is uh he used to be the manager at the taco bell and i i used to try to talk to him about fishing until one night he just told me he doesn't like to fish anymore so and it just i just said that he shouldn't have he should have to revoke his man card i think i can too this new pond i've been fishing has some slabs in it caught a 16 incher last weekend it's getting on up two pound, two and a half pound range now. Wait. 16 inch or, yes ma'am. There's five trout species, can you name them? Yeah. And just a second, let me get this caught up. Um, would not want to be in the same water as a 200 pound alligator gar, no, me either. The person that hand pumps internet up to you, Matt, fell asleep for a second, yeah. Uh, biggest black crop we've ever seen in person was over four pounds. My grandma caught it on a crappie jig tipped with a minnow. That is insane, Glenn. He said black crappie? The state record is five. Yeah. 2.15. That's awesome, Rob. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. All right. Name the five trout species. Probably. I'm not going to be able to. I got brown, brook, rainbow, cutthroat. Uh, what? Oh, lake, lake trout. Lake trout. There's lake trout in Arkansas. Who says? How? Oh. In Greer's Ferry, there's lake trout. I did not know that. I a hundred percent did not know that there was lake trout in Arkansas. You're a record. Did y'all know that there are lake trout in Arkansas at Greer's Ferry? That is genuinely insane. The biggest one is brown. Yeah, yeah. 40 pounds, 4 ounces. 1992. You weren't even born yet. Um... It's so deep it stays cold. That's crazy. Hey, 922. What's up, man? Welcome in. Just for the record, I will never give exact locations of any record catch. Every idiot looking to oh. beat it will destroy the water trying. Yeah, for sure. Some of these are world records, right? Yeah, there's a few of them in there. They got the old world record. Walleye is a world record. The world record walleye? Where? Walleye. Washtenaw? 22 pounds, 11 ounces, Greer's Ferry Lake. Greer's Ferry. That's insane. Brown trout was a, state, was a world record. <laughs> oh, heck. I did not know that. The brown trout was a world record? Mm -hmm. I believe that. That White River is absolutely nuts. Isn't it White River? Hybrid striper. So was it called on the White River? Which one? Brown trout. Uh, Little Red River. Little Red. Howard Rick as his friends call him. Right there's why. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Because people are like, where'd they catch that at? Exactly. I'd be there. I fish in the state record uh, <laughs> White River down below Heber. It's not fair that some of these record holders are from different states. Yeah, for sure. Brown trout. Oh, it says um, it was in Little Red, yeah. Little Red River. Glenn, you got it right. 
for sure 922. I fish in the state record black crappie lake. And um, I'm gonna go and tell you, ain't nobody fishing that that pile. <laughs> it's 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 rough. It's a horrible lake. Mallard Lake is our um it's where our largemouth bass come from. Our state record largemouth. Mallard Lake. Wait a minute. What's a bullhead? A bullhead's a tiny little catfish. Lake. Do you remember the bullhead that I that or the little catfish that I caught at that cabin up in, where we stayed at in Waldron? The turtle ate it. Yeah. That was a bullhead. Oh. Well, how can this say private lake? Because it was a private it, lake. Doesn't have to be public. It ain't gonna be public, no. There's a bunch of, like the sunfish records go up to them. They're like, pri private pond and derricks and. Well, it's by Jackie Mullins in Texarkana. Is that where the lake is? Don't know. Private Lakes, I'll be in Jonesboro. Yeah, right. You can own a private pond. Okay. If everyone started eating more bass, other species numbers will grow. Yeah, for sure. I ain't afraid to eat a bass. We'll eat a bass just as quick as anything else. I'm on a limited bass diet right now. Sophie don't eat much bass being pregnant because she, the mercury and whatnot, but... And crappie have mercury too, but they eat too many fry, yeah. One pound flyer. They do. Bass are hard on some stuff. Yeah. You get some flack for it, but I eat a bass. Me and Sophie will. Well, my last little tidbit of information, I'm and Corey and Curtis. And I know Baba will help eat a bass. My last tidbit of information. My mammal, it's her favorite fish. Okay, what's your last tidbit of information? Green sunfish. Green sunfish. I can tell you what the record is. Okay. Two pounds, seven ounces. One pound, 11 ounces. Derrick's? A pond in Derrick's. Pond in Derrick's. I know. I don't know where that pond's at. 1976. I've been there. They got some big ones. No, I don't. <laughs> Eat them early in the air. Yeah, yeah, right now. One pound flyer or one pound moon eye. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't even know where to catch those at. Uh, hot grease and cornmeal, that's what I'm talking about. They all taste the same. What, what are they saying about moon eye? Oh, uh, like one pound is the record. This says 12 ounces. 12 ounces, yeah. 12 ounce moon eye. Out of current river in 2023? Yeah. By a guy from Missouri. A gal? A guy, Sean Clark. Sean Clark caught him the state record moon eye. And flyer is 14 ounces out of Saline River. Saline River. Nineteen eighty five. Alright. Trying to keep it. Alright, no, no. <laughs> One pound, eight ounce warm mouth. That is a tank. Bass fishermen kill a bunch trying to keep them all day in the summer and then release them. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it's hard on them being in the old live wells for sure. Oh, fuck it. I'm rubbing them in and calling it from there. Lake's ruined anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> I've got to catch huge shell cracker in South Carolina. Matt knows what I'm talking about. Let me see. Bass are still baiting. My state record flathead was caught 30 minutes from my house. 
We got hammered. Unfortunately, catching release wasn't popular back then. It destroyed the flathead in that lakes. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Leopard darter is the most rarest fish in AK. Alaska? Are you looking in Arkansas still? The Probably the most rare fish in Alaska is the largemouth bass. I think. There's been uh, one one pounder caught. Ruined so much. Arkansas. Oh, yeah, yeah. The leopard darter. I've got underwater footage of a rainbow darter on our on one of our videos. Um, but yeah, the darters are really hard to they're hard to identify more than anything. Um, when you see several side by side, they look so similar that they're pretty hard to identify. <laughs> you watched it awesome yeah it's just a little bitty like probably three inch long little crystal clear creek um fish or a little fish that was in in a really clear little creek but it was uh it was really pretty you going night night all right watch for wasps See you in the morning. I'll be up there in an hour or 12. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Sunday, ain't it? Yeah. We got church in the morning. Gracie's pounding the water bowl before bed. Let's see. Honestly, a lot of groups on Facebook show monster catfish being hung from tree branches. Baby musky. Oh. Oh, musky. Does this look like a little, little crawl, crawdad, something? At least some sort of crawl-ish cover, colors. If it's the same sort of darter that I'm talking about, they're, um, I mean, they're like really small, um, just small little guys. I think we have a rainbow darter and caddo darter. Hey, Skipjack Cindy, welcome in. Thank you for swinging by this evening. Thank you for saying it looks good. Like a bait fish type. Yeah. Problem with the push for all the catch and release catfishing is that not every fishery is the same. Yeah, that's for sure the truth. Not every fishery is the same. Right there? Yeah. Coming up the stairs? Oh. Why? She's right there waiting on you to invite her up. <laughs> you mean loving dog. Drop my tail. Game of fish begging people to keep channel cats from the Arkansas River. Yeah. 34 flathead loose. Called it a channel killer. Paid the dues for dang. 
That's crazy. They allow 10 additional channel cats over your catfish limit in the Arkansas River and still have an overabundance. That sounds just like um the spotted bass at Washtaw and at Lake Greason. They have a your six plus an additional 10 on, uh, on Washtaw. You can keep 16 spotted bass per person. And we go have that Kentucky, you know, Kentucky bass, spotted bass, same difference. We're going to have that Kentucky Derby tournament in uh, the fall of the year when they're really schooled up spawning or schooled up feeding. And we'll go um, keep, you know, as many as you can catch, basically. I don't ever catch 32 fish in a day, so Sophie and I. And then we just have a huge fish fry at the end of it. It's always a good time. Eat a bunch of those spotted bass. Flatheads are invasive in Georgia. Did not know that. Wacky, wacky. Lake Conway now is no limit or size limit on the fish now that they're draining it. Yeah. There's a lake around here that's going to be the same way soon once it becomes public information i'll um update everybody about it what's going on but it ought to be neat for content I'm thinking this right here is just gonna be candy to those little shell crackers. What do y'all think? I think they're gonna get picked up and uh, spots on the gray, 13 inch minimum on largemouth, yeah. That's the way washed all is too then. <laughs> Looking like fire. <laughs> Thank you, Malone. Thank you, Travis. I appreciate it, man. Got that flare on it that you like. That only a mother could love. I know he told me no flashy, but I poured him two gold heads just because I have so much luck on gold. And I caught a red ear over at Cedar Lake last fall. Sophie and I were over there. And it was on a gold head. So I'm going to send him, send him two gold-headed ones. Oh, he said, I want to drive to Lake Conway. Boy, Little Rock, the time I realized I was by it, past it. Didn't recognize it with no water. Weird. Super weird to see a lake with no water, I bet. Still using the old handy dandy trash can. Pretty neat little dude there. See here. Mm, do you even know what water looks like? 
looks like anymore. I can smell you from here. <laughs> Dang it. Hit me up for some flashy jigs. Sounds good, Matt. Yeah, let me know. I'll hook it up. None of these tonight have been flashy, but uh I've got I've got the flashy stuff too. Go out of the house tomorrow and drive down the dam, see if there's any skips there if she fills up to it. That would be awesome. Unless it rains, <laughs> then it's a bonus shower, yep. <laughs> the body on that one got a little wild there, but all clear. There's a little resin bodied guy. Little B dude. Tattletail, huh? Looks good. Thank you, David. I sure appreciate it. Little bitty guys. Crappie would hammer it. Is it wait a minute? I don't share my secret of <laughs> information. You're giving Matt the inside scoop. Hey, you have to you have to let Glenn know too, uh David. There you go. He said he'd let you know, too. I got one more, guys, and that's going to be it. 11-11.
do one more here. Actually, I got two. I could do them both. Mainly because I want to try to try something with a feather. If I can find the brown feathers. Enjoy turning the live into a catfishing chat. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'm going to hop off and take care of a couple things before bed. Yes, sir. Thank you, Glenn, for being here tonight. Sure, appreciate it. You're welcome to turn her into a catfish chat anytime. Ever fished white oak lake? No, I haven't either. Never even heard of it. Okay, let's see. I need to find a feather. I will use this stuff. I was gonna not use this stuff and then I was like, yeah, I'll use it. I'm gonna make a little ice dub body on this one. This will be mine. Give me a tiny little hackle feather here. Get one out of there. Just a barred, strong barred neck hackle. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna try to hackle that body up. Lake between Prescott and Camden, closer to Chidester and my deer camp. I have not heard of any of those places. You'd actually be making every single one of them up. I would have absolutely no idea. I've heard of Camden, of course. Not good things, but. All right, let's see.
big crappie lake. Nice. Big old crappie lake. If this is it or not. I think I need a brown, brown feather. I think it would look a lot better with a brown feather. Definitely want to take my pole next time. Born and went to school in El Dorado. Chichester is where I killed my first ever deer. Used to fish Calhoun Lake. Until I moved 10 miles north of D-Queen. Man, you're really close to me. That's what's up. So you fish uh, D-Queen Lake now, I'm assuming, and Gillum and probably Derrick's. That's cool. That's uh, not far from us. Also, are you ready for the eclipse? Because it is about to get hectic down there where you're at. We're in, uh, we're in Mina, so we're not far from you. Maybe 20, 30 miles, maybe 20 miles. Yeah, you're 10 miles north of D Queen. You're only 45, about 30 miles from us. Not too bad. Who's Smith's gonna get the brunt? We're right in totality, also. There's supposed to be a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people show up. I am not excited about if there's as many people that come that say 
If as many people show up as they say they think that it's going to be here, I'm not excited. Right. Check out this little dude. See what you think. Not quite it. I got to work on it some, so. I got to work on my hackle. Scary packed here too. I'm not ready for it. <laughs> I could have used that today. <laughs> Oh, flip it around here. Where, what happened? Flipped it one too many times. Yeah, a little bluegill. Little bluegill jig, 180th ounce. Little bitty guy. No doubt, watching it from the back deck and calling it good. Yep. I'm not uh not ready for it. Some of that in the colors of the other jigs I ordered. Yeah, the um I'm not real great at the hackle stuff yet. I mean I'll like build a white one here, see what it how it turns out. A little bigger. Also, mainly because I already put that brown up. Watching it from somewhere where there isn't a lot of people. I think there's going to be people everywhere. I don't know if we're going to be able to escape. Escape the people. Unless you got land of your own. Also got this rubber, these rubber legs, rubber um, rubber band material. I put in vacation time off of work that entire weekend before and the Monday of. I'm gonna try to stay out of it best I can. Got that rubber band material here. I don't understand how to tie the stuff on. So I gotta mess around with it here. Let y'all watch me struggle with it. Food stuff now, because when they get here, it'll all be slim pickings. A hundred percent. That's what I was telling my grandpa today. Um, before you know, before the crazy gets here, probably go ahead and stock up on all the necessities. Yeah, I don't know how to do it either. I know there's like a way you can put it on your thread somehow and wrap it. Maybe like, I don't know. It's here, they are panicking. What's here? I don't know. without just doing a few at a time.
grab on both ends kind of and wrap I go around the thread I'm gonna make it not even like a little bit of sense. Collins is blocking off his entrance to cities, putting up blocks at the park. They were all cool and collected. And we we're like, and we're like, we're ready for this. Now that it's here, they're panicking. Yeah. Yeah, we um very, very briefly talked about allowing campers on our land. And then we're like, no, absolutely not. Setting out heavy equipment to keep people out of parks. That's insane. Yeah, I think it's gonna be um I think it's definitely gonna be definitely gonna be hectic for a while. What I hope is that nobody thinks that it's pretty here and they all go back where they come from. Uh, big bass fishermen, mostly at night. Do some crappie fishing when they go on beds. Um, when they go on beds. They said Gillum going to be full of people. Also a big trapper with my own YouTube channel. Awesome. I'll check you out for sure. I love local stuff, man. It is just something about watching stuff from, you know, our area is just awesome. Closing a lot of streets down here. I'll be fishing. All right, 922, 6 a.m. will definitely come early. Going to the once Flathead Mecca. All right, well, good luck. Dang, others have had squatters for weeks. That would be absolutely horrible to have somebody squat on your property. And then, like, legally, I don't know what you could do about it. I don't, I don't know. Get these legs all separated out here. See what we've done. for weeks stuff or really anything catches my fancy I feel bad at times not going with them but she knows I can't be around a lot of people yeah no doubt it's gonna be um, definitely gonna be a lot of people man Gonna be a lot.
You two raised one of my giveaway. I'll be sending them as prizes Monday. That's cool. Yeah, he's definitely a local, local guy too to us. Not too far anyway. Within, you know, within a couple hours. All right, there's some rubber legs on there. Covered up with some brown chenille and call it a night, huh? What do you think? Set up some booby traps. Godspeed, God bless, tight lines, and full stringers. That's what I'm talking about. Hope you have a good evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight, hanging out with all of us. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> Not Tattletail. <laughs> Just picked you up. Yeah, he's over here. Right next to us. Be blessed. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you so much. Going fishing in the morning. That's what I'm talking about, H-Dog. Tear them up. Good luck to you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you catch them. I think that's going to be our last one here. Y'all check it out. about that little guy. Little rubber rubber legs. Ah, <laughs> mine. That's funny. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw you some in there next time. Great looking jigs. Thank you, Travis. Turned out all right. I'll play around. I need to play around with that rubber. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got a huge, there's like, I don't know, a lot. There's a whole roll of that stuff that I've got here. So I need to play with it. need to use it, get better with it. Mess around. Learn a little better way to get it fastened on there. And, uh, we'll be in a little better business. But anyway, we've tied like 27 jigs or something like that tonight. Not too bad. Uh, got it actually on discount on a clearance closeout thing on Barlow's. Southwest Arkansas. What? That's where we're from. Shalin? Not too far. We're uh, up towards the Mina area. We need a new mat rat. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, I found that, um... found that rubber on discount from Barlow's. Maybe some up in red, but now I'm on Puppy patrol wheelchair duty. 
Uh, Shailen, we don't we don't just do little stuff. We got like little one eightieth ounce little sunfish things we were tying tonight for a brim. But we also do bladed jigs. Oh, nice. We're in Mina, so not far. That's cool. Got a bucktail bladed jigs here. Like basically like a chatterbait. I do all the um, all the lead pouring, all the painting, and then of course all the ties, tying and everything. So need to find some of that. Send me the name of it. Yeah, if I I'll, uh, I'll look through my orders on Barlow's and find it, and then see if I can find find the name of it. But I'll for sure send you a link to something if I can find it. That's cool, Shaylin. I'm glad you uh, popped in. Glad you found us. For sure, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're um, we'll be on D Queen. Uh, probably next weekend. Next two weekends, be fishing. So, if you see us out there, holler at me. Being white, white tracker. Yeah, Arkansas is strong in here tonight for sure. There's a lot of Arkansas stuff going on in here tonight. But I appreciate it, and uh, I was just winding it down tonight. But I'm glad you found us. Hopefully you subscribe, check out the channel. Um, I've got a lot of bass fishing, a lot of crappie fishing, creeks and rivers and ponds and whatever on here, me and my wife. So sure uh, appreciate you joining. We also have Rock Creek Bait Company. You can find it on Instagram or uh, Facebook, or you can go to rockcreekbaitcompany.com. We've got a little website there. Got a few things. Or uh, go live here every Saturday. Uh, to get that rubber to stay. Put the string on. Put a dab of glue to stick the rubber. There you go. That's cool. Good idea. No doubt. All right, yeah, thank you. There's our link also. But um, anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna get off here, get a little bit, a little bit of supper, a little bit more supper. <laughs> Ate a bowl of cereal when I got home and it's gone. So anywho, we'll uh, catch y'all um, on our next one. We'll have a video next Friday and then Go live again next Saturday. So we'll see y'all. Try to go live at 8 p.m. I'll definitely be live before 9 p.m. So catch y'all on our next one. Yep, y'all be blessed. Thank you for being here.